Alright, how you doing? Surprise, actually it looks like this video might be recorded the wrong way. If it is, great. That means the accelerometer, the accelerometer isn't working. So, two days in the trial. I've come out. We're going to go over to our house in a minute. Got to uh, potentially pick up some Plinky Plink. We'll see that in a minute. We'll have to guest at home. We'll see who that is as well. Plinky Plink. Plinky Plink. <laughs> Now the kids can have a go on a plinky plink and and Inky can have a go on an electric plinky plink. <sighs> See you in a minute. This ain't the guest. I've just arrived home with my plinky plink, which the guest is holding. Hi! Hi. <laughs> oh. See, when he's on the floor, about the same height. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. But I've just had another package come through, right? And the wife is like, hey, it's got flamingos on it. Can I have it? And she's just gone and unboxed me, me, me Plinky Plink's pluggy any distortion pedal. And look, there's another package! Look! Hang on, spin it around. The other way. That's it. Look! My mum's there too! With a package! And guess what? That's got stuff in it for Plinky Plink. And I've got a scratch plate. A <laughs> cover. Sticky stuff. On. Um. Oh, you're more than mum than stab. Put me out my Where's the flamingo plate? You took it off. You were like, be gentle! Take the thing, blah, 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 and all that. Yeah! But look, the reason I bought this, and there's like other pedals out there that are way better. First off, it was like new old stock, so it had never been used. <laughs> and I wanted one of these pedals like, like way back it. in the early 2000s. So I was like, ooh, you could buy a newer, better pedal, but no. This is a wise. Is it really smart to do that on your leg? It's just that carbon her name into her leg. <laughs> She's got a knife. Maybe be better on your craft table. Have you seen my craft table? It's covered in shit. <laughs> oh, it's covered in crafts. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 check this out, check this out. You're taller than me. Watch, 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 watch. watch. That's an angry sound going on. Look, you can't find a thing. I want to know if I rub this on your head, will it catch fire? No. You sure? Well, look at it. Look, watch. That's great. We just need a match. So, what do you need to do? so if you pull this bit, does that bit go away completely? No. So if you pull that bit, does that bit go away? No. I tried. You tried. I thought that would be the easiest way to get rid of yeah, it. That's, that's, that's what I do. Every, every time we just look, pull on this bit, this gets longer, that bit gets shorter. But that's not for now. Is that where you're being? Oh no! Going? <laughs> that's called a wife and kids, man. <laughs> All this time. Him, on the other hand, I love that. The the. Where is he? Where, where's he gone? There he is. He's spaniel. I like that. This my, my the tiny humans. <laughs> Don't have them. Don't have them. Even Mum will take that. No. Don't have tiny. Well, one humans. of them I would. The other one I wouldn't. We love them, but we mm -hmm. hate them at the same time. <laughs> Who loves Plinky Plinkin? <laughs> Woo! It's a pro player, gig it! Badly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I heard you play a chord a minute ago. Go on, dude, yeah! <laughs> Admittedly, that guitar is horribly out of tune. <laughs> and it could do, a, a, could do with a light adjustment. But... Try it now. Go on, you can do it. Go! Yeah! Cool. Let's see if we can get just one more finger. Slip it in. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I, these comments come up all the time about that. Oh dear. The tone that it's by default is turned. Yeah, only touch the strings and stuff, mate. Do the thing with the with the picky thing and the wah! Look like that, look like that. Professional! I completely forgot how noisy single calls were as well. The whole. Strum it. Let's try that. Go on. Yeah! Metal! <laughs> Very bad metal. <laughs> That's exactly how all metal sounds. <laughs> Don't need any chords. Just fucking. Just Strum as fast as you can. Yeah! Woo! 
fuck you! <laughs> to make you miss again. Oh, you got it! You got it! Yeah! I missed one, because I fucking missed it. <laughs> 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 What do I need to do to get my fucking percentage higher? <laughs> we have the next. <laughs> it's the next Kurt Cobain. Just hoping you keep your head. <laughs> do we need it? Well, might do. I mean, as long as you still got your hands, you can still yeah, play it, right? If you learn two more chords, you can pretty much play any Nirvana song. <laughs> so. Look at that. See, there you now, go. Now, no, no. Can I do it perfectly? Hang on. Let's, let's just try to get my finger back into shape. Yeah, you don't need a finger. Look, look. He's got hands. I mean, if you're a drummer, you can do that with one arm. Oh, go on! Go on, lizard! God, you're up my guitar! Come on! That's a good frog title. God, you're up my guitar! Badly. Oh! Yeah! Ulath has gone home by the, uh, the tour train. <laughs> he doesn't use a tour bus, he's got a tour train. Uh, we just spent the afternoon, uh, me, him, and Nicky, just plinking around on on the little Fender Squire. Um, what a nightmare to get in tune! Like you tune it, and then three seconds later, because the strings are still, you know, you have to you play it a little bit, then all of a sudden you have to retune it again because it sounds like a sound. And there was one bit like Ulath skipped a load of the tutorials and went to chords, and uh, I was like, oh yeah, just strum it. Like he was doing it and it was just missing missing everything. And I was like, but your fingers are in the right place. You're hitting the right notes. And then I was like, hang on, let me have a go. And he puts it onto the, he hands me the guitar and it says, yeah, just strum open, open strings on everything. And I'm like, okay, cool, strum. Yeah, you did it wrong. What? I was like, I just hit every single, what? Strum it again. No, I was like, right, that's it. Retune it, tuned it, fine. Um, yeah, we just plinked around on Rocksmith for a bit. I cannot feel my hands, I cannot feel my fingers. It's It got to the point where I had to look at the fretboard <laughs> to be able to see what I was doing. Otherwise I was just like <gasps> all over the place. But it was it was fun. Um, a new laugh. Might pick up Rocksmith and a little plinky plink guitar. Um, single curls, I forgot how kind of they are. I go there picking up uh, electromagnetic fluff, but no fun, 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 fun. I would be very curious um, to hear the opinions of a few of my friends who have stuck with guitar over the years because it's clear to see. Because I had a little go, we got up to we did like the first three or four tutorials, and by like tutorial four, I was fucked. Uh, I'd be interested to see what uh, some of my friends and colleagues think who about Rocksmith who have been playing guitar continuously for like the last decade. Um, you know, get Tremordia in, Zabe Morlin, get uh, Jimoth in, Old Divine. And uh, I think, because you can get it on PC really, 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 really cheap if you know where to look. The most expensive part other than the guitar itself is the real-time cable, which you can get off eBay. Uh, for like Xbox 360, it says like Xbox 360, PS3, PC, but that'll work on like everything, PC, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, it's the same cable on all of them. Uh, I think you can get that for between 23 and 25, uh, 23, like 13-ish, so somewhere between 15 and like 25 pounds. Grab that, grab the game for like five bucks, you know, um, and I'd be interested to see what what they have to say. Because um, I think it's kind of interesting. I think it might be a little thin in some places, and in other places it's really forgiving. So like you're like, oh, I completely missed that. And it's like, yeah, you got it. It's like, no, I'm pretty sure I didn't. I missed that by a fucking country mile. But um, it's it's it is fun. It is neat. I think it is anyway. Um, and I will continue to play it every day. I feel um, until I can at least plink my way around the guitar and and. I'm not after f speed, I'm not really even after accuracy. I'd just like to be able to do it without my hands locking up too much too quickly. That'd be nice. Um, yeah. Tuned up, honestly, I think that might just need a minor truss rod adjustment. Minor, ever so minor. Um, and it'll be it'll be groovy. Uh, pretty good for what I paid for it. It was like 80 pound, 80 some odd pound. 
So, you know, um, pretty rad, pretty rad. Uh, guitars are incredibly affordable these days, and they're actually all right. They're all right. Oh, well, hey, look. I've had Rocksmith since um, 2017 on PC. Oops, I haven't, I haven't launched it yet. I'm going to see if it'll install on my... Uh, Linux the rig. Right, I've downloaded it, installed it through uh, Proton 4.11. Uh, so that's uh, Steam Play on Linux. See if it works. It probably won't work. Oh. Uh, da, da, da. Although, in fairness, this laptop isn't exactly the machine it's on. It's, it's not very powerful at all. I don't even know if it hits minimum requirements, but. Um, if it does, that would be very, very cool. Um, I actually wonder if Proton will even recognize the um, real-time cable. Or if I'll even look for um, USB devices by default. I know some people have gotten this to work on Linux, but I don't think they've done it directly through um, Proton. Oh no, something went wrong. I mean, I didn't have high hopes. That is a little sad that didn't work. Really quite... Um, I could just put a little, the, the machine's got, got space for another, like, little M2 SSD, like a, I think it's a little stick SSD I could put in there. It's just a completely empty slot in there. And I could buy one of those for, like, £30 or something, put it in there, put Windows on there, and put Rocksmith on the little laptop. Um, because that'd be kind of neat. I think all of my, all of my little machines have, um... M2 slots and no, are they M2? M M SATA slots, M SATA slots. So I could I could do it with both of the little laptops and then have a a plinky plink on the go groove. Ammo. Um, I'm gonna have to look up how other folks got going on on the Linux. And again, as I say, overheads of having to use you know like interpretation layers and software just. It's not what it. Is. It costs a little bit more in resources to get it to run on a, on an operating system. It's not supposed to. To hold off disappointment. A Dremorja vlog. Food. With the wife. And a spaniel. Oh dear, food makes me fat. What is my wife here? Oh, spaniel. Hello, BB. What is my wifey up to? Hi, da. <laughs> oh, wow. Hang on. Were there doors on those earlier? No. Have I been completely brain dead the last however many times I've been in here? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, why? Uh, knitting machines? Yep. Sewing machine? Yep. Here. Just a random note: the this um, this little light box. Uh, when we were first living in Norwich, and I did a, a test of "I need your opinions, please." I always mention that video when I was setting up the DSLR. The only light in that conservatory was this light box. Yep, and the fish tank light. I think he's popped there. And it's made that path up there light up. Yeah, I was going to say you can actually see. <laughs> you can see outside. The thing is, when I do this. Hmm. Yeah. Where's all your wool going, by the way? What? All the wool. Oh, in this corner under the table here. Oh, okay. Wait, so you just right out here. You can kind of see out here a bit better now. Look at that! Let's just guys have a little. <laughs> oh. 
Hello, lady. Um, it's neat how you're making use of the space, at least, considering this, the, you know, this little cubby hole is considerably smaller than the last one, you know? Yeah. Rocking. <laughs> what I'm doing is... Hmm. I've got things behind the shelf that I can hide. Hmm. I'm using these to hide. There's a shelf behind these. Oh, sure. So I made them kind of like cupboard doors. Cool. And also then it stops the sunlight coming in. <laughs> Just got to make sure nothing falling. That's one. Do tapping. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> Just a bit. Oh, go on. It's got attacked. Oh, that's rubbish. Ah, oh, okay. Don't attack. Don't attack me. <laughs> the way you put that lampshade on that bloody bulb. I thought it looked like one of those um, microphone things of the vinyl player. Oh, uh, the... Um, Phonogram? I know what you're talking about. Yeah. The Yeah, the big brass. Yeah. Yeah. Can I have that cup? His master's voice box. Enjoy. I'll make you a... Your mum put five sugars in it. Oh, did she? <laughs> yeah. Wow, brutal. Well, you know, you need some pep. <laughs> Fucking just giving me the shakes, I'm like... <laughs> so, yeah, um, this is coming about. Yeah, work in progress. Yeah, I'm really sorry. That's Frankie, you do you. you. You get into your groove. I thought, I'm sick to death mm -hmm. of having an art space and not knowing what the fuck's in it. Well, now you're finding it. Yeah, finding it. All. Like the little Tonka toy bus. Yes. Huh? Oh. I nice. Oh, yeah. Why was that in here? Hmm. Fair enough. But look, I've got. You're going like this. These are buttons I have yet to sort. Hmm. Buttons you have sorted. Good job. They almost make me hungry. I know, that's why I did it, because I knew you'd like, say they look like sweeties. No, because that you look, you know what they say, you're not supposed to eat those things, keep them away from children and stupid people, and now you've put them in a jar that makes me hungry, we're going to see how long I live after. <laughs> how stupid is he really? <laughs> and also, I kept some in the bag so you can put your hand in still. I do like that. Yeah. When I can feel that. Right, some people think that's really weird, but ever since I was a child, that's been something I've, like, you know, like bird seed and stuff. I was like putting <laughs> my hand in in buckets of bird seed or buttons or or things it's like just that. The texture. Yeah, exactly. But where my hands are so kind of derpy now, that's almost like a luxury for me now. Like so, when I do it, it's just like really, really fun. And it probably shouldn't be. No one gets it, but for me, it's really, really fun. Well, I get it because I've made sure that you've got somewhere where you can do it. Magic box. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna stop standing here with this knife, all right? Because it's getting a bit creepy. Because the dog's giving me the eye and. <laughs> Another pair of scissors. Keep them safe. Keep them safe. I'm gonna wind this down because I've realised today's vlog is gonna be like. I think it's probably really, really long, and I'm not gonna cut a huge amount out. But um, today has been one of the more fun days I've had in a long time. Uh, I didn't expect to see you laugh today. It turns out that uh, Inky had cocked up the date. I think it was last week I said that Ulath was going to come around. Turns out Ulath had actually told Inky it was this week. But again, you know, mis slight miscalculation, miscommunication, and, uh, you know, here we are. I didn't think um, Ulath would, would play Rocksmith um, at all, to be honest. But it was it was really fun. We had Inky come in and we plinky plinked um, for a bit and just... I haven't laughed that much since Zaber came down, to be honest with you. I, it was so funny. And what's really neat is because I haven't played in so long, and because my... As a positive, because my hands have deteriorated so much, and, like, you know, muscle memory's non-existent now, um, you know, I get to play like a beginner again. I get to relearn again. I actually get to learn 
And so it wasn't like, oh, let's do the, let's do some of these lessons, and I just go storming through. Um, it was fun. You know, I got to, you know, I got, I had a bit of a head start, but it was, it was still fun. It was such a laugh. It was such a good laugh. Um, <laughs> although I, I will admit, as time went on and my hands started to numb out, it was getting to be a bit silly. It was more like I'm looking at the fretboard. Remember what that is. Look at the fretboard because I couldn't. You know, you'd be like going, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slide from third fret to fifth fret. And instead, I'd be like third to seventh, third to like eleven, and it doesn't. I could. I'd not be able. I wouldn't be able to feel the the frets, so it was just kind of a, a guesstimate. So then I started kind of eyeballing the the fretboard, and that's just kind of. So what I might have to do is because you know initially I'm um, I'm okay, I'm okay, um. I might have to noodle about a bit. And then as I start to kind of lose the feeling, maybe just kind of close my eyes and start and go, okay, this is third, this is fifth, check. Okay, back to third. Yeah, we made it to third. Okay, we're gonna go from third to, I don't know, 11th or 12th. Okay, cool. Uh, back to fifth. Yep, yeah, okay, we made it back to fifth. Um, and then maybe like change strings. And, and just, just find a way. Um, I can still just about touch type on the PC and that's the thing that's kind of giving me a bit of hope. I can still do that. I'm nowhere near as fast as I used to be, but I can still do it. And so I'm hoping with enough practice, I'll be able to just get back into the guitar. I don't plan to be able to play anything particularly fast. I mean, after noodling about on some of the lessons this afternoon, I've realized that my speed is greatly reduced. Greatly reduced. I mean, I'm thinking... Examples of things that people know, the intro to Cowboys from Hell, I should be able to keep up with that, maybe. Um, intro to Holy Diver, um, or just learn some chords and strum away. That might be my limit. And you know what, I'm fine with that. I am fine with it. Also, um, Rocksmith, I was I had a few minor things like because oh, when Ulath was playing it because we haven't really explored anything in it. I was like, well, they haven't really taught you anything about you know alternate picking, uh, you know jumping between strings, um, uh, you know nothing in here about scales or anything like that. So how are you going to learn? Like you're not going to that surely they don't expect you to kind of wing it and just go into a song. And have it like teach you like here's one note here's another note here's another note here's another note okay you've done really well here now we're gonna add some extras in and eventually you kind of get the idea of roughly what the scales are based on certain songs you've played. Turns out there's a mode in it called Guitar Cade. Is it Guitar Cade? Which is like a bunch of little mini games. I'd heard it had a bunch of mini games in it, but I wasn't entirely sure like what kind of stuff that would have. Uh, that's where you learn all like your 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 picking and 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 um, scales and things like that. There will be little mini games that you can play. That uh, will kind of encourage you to uh, develop your skills, uh, you know, picking and and again scales and uh, what was it like? Uh, depending on how hard you strum and how softly you strum, or how softly you pick. Uh, just you know, little bits, techniques like that, you know, muting and all that. Um, it's it's all in the guitar case. All the little bits that I could have complained about are all there. Also, randomly, thank you, Tremorgia, for letting me know about the whole raising and lowering of, of pickups. Kind of makes sense. It's something I've never had to do before. Um, neck adjustments, changing strings, things like that, not a problem. Um, but the, the whole pickups thing, I don't even mind doing electronics. But the, the, the pickups, I was like... What's that really going to, you know, how do you know when it's the right height? How do you know when your pickups are at the right height? I mean, I, I guess that's going to depend on, again, the action in the neck um, and, and like, uh, uh, you know, bridge and all that. Because, obviously, that's, that's where the height of your strings is going to change. Uh, but still, like, is there a correct height or can we just wing it? Like, is it just as long as it sounds right to you? Which also... Again, I love watching Tremorgia's videos because he's got... A lot of people are really snobby about equipment and other stuff like 
technique and equipment and all this kind of stuff. And in Tremorge's recent vlog, he mentions about using cheap, crappy equipment. Because even low-end gear, low-end amplifiers, low-end guitars, low-end microphones, low-end interfaces, they have their own unique sound, and each sound has its own place. And you'll find um, that you might even have, or you might even develop your own sound, your own style through using that equipment. This is my spin on it. Uh, because it won't be as overused as some of the bigger, more expensive equipment. You can make good stuff out of really shitty, cheap equipment. That's on you and your skills. The more expensive the equipment, the easier it's going to be to get a good sound. Um, but then everyone else is going to be using that equipment too. There are going to be slight little imperfections in the cheaper stuff that you could actually use to your advantage. Um, I, I mentioned to Tremorgia because I, I when I shoot off the, the Dean V in there, um, I've loved Dean guitars since I was a kid. My second guitar was uh, Dean ML. Uh, when the Dean Dime Razorback was announced, um, I, when that was announced back in 2003, 2004, I desperately wanted to get a two-time Razorback. But... You know, I was just a poor college kid at the time. I couldn't really afford it. It was, start, it was just a style choice. It was just like the ML that I already had, but it was gorgeous. It was a big boy guitar kind of thing. Uh, would I have been able to play anything to match the style? I maybe back then, not so much today. Uh, but I, I would have. I would really. Even now, I'd re. I'd really like one. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, I mentioned how, like that guitar, the, the the dime distortion box in there, which is something I've wanted since I was a kid. Is it practical now? No. Um, but one of the pedals I really want, a pedal I really, really want, is completely useless to most people. And it's uh, a Miku Stomp by Korg. Every time I hear that thing, it just reminds me of a conversation I had with Divine. And it's a silly pedal. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's very unique, uh, in that you play a note and, uh, it replaces that note, um, with Hatsune Miku's voice and then you can bend it and all that kind of stuff. Like it will, it will, it will change its pitch and tone based on how heavily you pick. And so it's a completely useless pedal, but I'm sure I could find uses for it, even if just to have a laugh. It's not something everyone would want, but I'd, I wouldn't mind having one kind of thing. Um, sometimes the really out there things that no one else wants um, can be really cool, and you can get a really neat kind of style out of it. I don't know if you can hear that. I hope you can't. Two days straight. Really shut the fuck up. Oh, and the the Squire Strat. This is a really long vlog now. Picked up um, mainly because I, I wanted the the kids to have a little dick about, and Inky to have a little dick about. The V's not a particularly comfortable guitar to sit down with. I know that. I don't mind standing up with it. My ML wasn't a particularly comfortable guitar to to um, sit down with either. Although more comfortable than a V, but I really, really, really wanted a little something, something for the children to dick about with. Um, I've played a Strat style guitar before. I figured that would be a good start for him. You know, um, it's it's cheap and cheerful. Um, it's hard to break in the grand scheme. It's of reasonable quality, uh, and you know they can they can plinky plink with it. It's, it's comfortable enough, or it should be comfortable enough for them to 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 just mess about with. Um, it's the right shape to sit down with. And they're going to be sat down with it. So, and someone's going to say, it's really excessive, man. You've gone and bought another guitar and you only just got that other one. I know. In fairness, if, if anyone that knew me back in the day, I got my Carlsbro Strat. And then about six months later, I got the Dean ML. Um, I like guitars. 
I do. I'm shit at playing them. I can't play them, but I love them. I really do. And I get immense joy, even if it's just strumming the strings. Don't have to play anything. Just let, I'll strum open. I'm fine with that. You know? Anyways, I'm going to head off. I haven't got a clue what the hell I'm talking about at this point, which is normal for me. But this has been going on for 11 minutes 27, plus the rest of the vlog. Today has been really fun. One last thing. I kind of want to buy... Um, Tremorgia and Zaber uh, Rocksmith. It's pretty cheap to buy on PC and I've been told that you can actually hook up a guitar to a, to the PC using, rather than just using the real time cable or using a microphone, you can go straight into uh, an audio interface and I know that both Tremorgia and Zaber have interfaces and Divine has uh, uh, Rocksmith on PS4 I think so it'd be, it'd be neat to I look I said earlier it would be neat to have them have a go and share their opinions on it. It's cheap enough for me to just be able to buy them a copy each and then oh let's see how it goes. So I hope you're well and I'll see you all with a bit of luck tomorrow.